let's first open this new names 2017.txt and let's put some text here. Now let's create a new class called zip file. So this will be used to take new names 2017.txt and then we will going to zip it. So let me create a byte buffer, which will going to be used to read the data from the file. And then we will going to write it to the zipped file. So since we are writing to a zip file, therefore I'm using gzip output stream. So basically, let me write in comment what gzip is so that you know what this does. So gzip is a file format and a software application used for file compression and decompression. Means if you are reading a gzipped file, you will use gzip input stream. If you are converting it into a zip format, you will use gzip output stream. So the program was created by a couple of gentlemen as a replacement program for compressing and decompressing to all those um, you know, I mean, uh, expensive softwares. So it was actually funded by GNU. You need to organize your imports. So, now file input stream object, we're now going to use this new names 2017 txt. This is the file that we are planning on zipping. So we will block this whole reading process until all the bytes are written. So we will say length should be equal to
the file input stream object dot read so it should read it into the buffer and as long as that is greater than zero keep looping that means as long as there are bytes to be read as long as there are bytes to be read keep looping and in this loop take this gzip object and then write to it from the buffer zero through the length of the buffer and why are we doing that because buffer is of size 1024 bytes because that's where we have capped it we don't want to write all 1024 bytes we only want to write zero through however many letters are there we only going to write that much to a zipped file then i can take my input stream object and close it i can take my gzip object and finish it and then close it So what finish does, it finishes writing compressed data to the output stream without closing the stream. Use this method when applying multiple filters in succession to the same output stream. So now let me run this. It generates no output, which is a good news because otherwise the only output would be the error. Now let me refresh this. And here you have names of zipped file. 